So you did not arrive here to walk lockstep in status quo. You did not take, you did not peer over into time and say, I think I'm going to go to planet Earth and I'm just going to do what everybody else is doing. No, you did not. You arrived on planet Earth to shatter the status quo, to break free from prevailing paradigms, to not just study history, but to make history. You have come to break free in such a way that who you are as an infinite divine uh, emanation of pure intelligence, unconditional love, perfect peace, life itself can begin to reveal itself in ways that it never has before because you have never existed before. Now, we all have the same purpose. In my language, you all have the same purpose. We have the purpose to reveal this presence, this uh, cosmic happening, to localize the cosmic happening in a way that has never, ever happened before. We all have different missions of how we do that, uh, uh, but uh, our purpose is to reveal that, and that is how you break free from the status quo, walking lockstep. Now, as you are walking in the direction of your sacred yes, having outrageous dreams to have contagious memes, uh, uh, dreams that are beyond the present paradigm, dreams that are beyond what you think you can accomplish on your own, dreams that are beyond what you've ever thought before, you end up having a, contag having a contagious meme. A meme is something, an idea that's delivered to each other by no means of genetic connection. We, we become very contagious. And in the process of, of doing that, we bump into being influential. Being influential means that you have surrendered your life. You, you are in service to something that's bigger than your little self. And then you begin to radiate that particular quality. You have become a tuning fork radiating with that frequency and that vibration and you develop a kind of electromagnetism in which the very thing that you're in service to radiates through you so profoundly that it activates that energy in others without you saying a word and so you have become influential rather than trying to influence the source of being influential is service to something higher than yourself. And then you glow, you become so luminous with this, with this presence, you cannot help but influence individuals by the radiant vibration that's emanating from you. These attributes of love and beauty, intelligence, abundance, harmonizing prosperity, all of these qualities are non-neutral. They are constantly active, which means as you begin to uh, surrender yourself to something higher, become in service to something higher, and you become influenced uh, by that, you will drive people away or you will draw people to you, but there's no neutrality there. You won't have to do anything but be yourself. You'll, you'll, you'll drive or you'll draw. You have to give up the thought of what can I get from the world. The world has nothing for you at all. There is nothing the world has for you other than an opportunity for you to give, for you to share, for you to serve, for you to radiate, for you to activate your potential. That's all the world has for you. You are here to ask, how can I shine? How can I give? How can I share? How can I radiate? And as then as you become influenced by what you're surrendering to, you change the narrative in the world. You shift the narrative. All I have to do is be me, articulate to my vision over and over and over again to myself, be able to fluently say what I have surrendered my life to, the, the higher purpose of my existence, and then my world begins to change. I live in a different world. I live in a world of abundance and joy, which means you're tapping into the abundance that is everywhere, that never depletes itself, never runs out. As the Bhagavad Gita reminds us, you take abundance from abundance and abundance still remains. You cannot deplete any of it, but you're living in that octave, that frequency, that vibration, because you are living in effluence first, affluence shows up, and now you're the vibration of influence. Again, you're not making it happen.
you're making it welcome.